What's up? This is Ro James. I need y'all to go out there on May 27th and cop that El Dorado album. And you are watching Stuff Fly People Like TV. Man, so the album's called El Dorado. Comes out May 27th. So uh, a couple years ago, I released Coke Jack and Cadillacs. Um, and Coke was, Coke Jack and Cadillacs was based off of my first love, first ride, you know, just figuring myself out. El Dorado now represents that journey in between leaving Indiana, coming to New York, and just everything in between, you know, figuring out my sound, what I want to talk about, uh, tying my real life and my stories into my music, and how to just remain authentic, and how to just, you know, stay strong with my originality and my individuality and me just being myself, you know, and just really focusing, you know. I mean, of course, there are a lot of difficulties because it's, it's, a, it's a ride, it's a journey. I mean, sometimes you get tired and you're looking at everybody doing something and your, your music might not necessarily fit into that. And you're like, how do I stay true to this when this is what's working right now and you want people to pay attention to your music? When I put Coke Jack and Cadillacs out, I didn't really perform before that. Like maybe a little couple shows, whatever. But I didn't really get into the performance, you know what I mean? So I had to learn that. I had to get out of my way, get my insecurities out, figure out that sound systems are going to be different in different places and I can't focus on the sound, but just really tap into myself and allow these people who are listening to me at that moment to really get an essence of me without me worrying about the technicalities, you know, and, and not being shy, you know, but I, like you said, I've been around New York for a minute, so it's like, Partying and all of those things is one aspect, but to perform is a vulnerable thing because you're you're supposed to tap into your emotions, you know? So on this journey, I had to learn that. Yeah, because I really wasn't sure of my voice, man. It was like, it was different. And I also had all these different voices and different artists around me, and I was listening to their voices. And it's like, you sometimes you want to be dynamic, and sometimes you want your voice to be soft, or sometimes you want to have a falsetto, and it's, and it's like, figuring out that, yeah, you can do all those things, but it's like, you use them in the right moment. Like, when I first started, I used to run all over the place. Like, I'd be running and running, because I thought that's what singing was, but it's like, just performing has allowed me to break free of that, you know, and to really study the greats, like Prince and James Brown and David Bowie and Stevie, and just figure out how they maneuver, even Jodeci, like how they maneuvered on the stage, you know? And, but at the same time, too, make sure that I am myself up there and just have fun and not just, not so much focus on, yo, am I singing this note perfect? Like, yo, let's get up here, have some fun. Let people experience your, your energy. It feels great to be able to, to hit the stage with Jasmine, Maxwell, I've done Dream, uh, Eric, but like different people. I thought about it the other day. It's like casting your energy in the direction of your dreams. It's really like focusing on what you really want to do and saying, you know what, no matter what the obstacles that are around me, it's like, this is what I'm gonna do and I know where I'm supposed to be. And so eventually you find yourself on the stage with the people that you admire. And one day I'm gonna be on the stage with Andre 3000. One day I wanna be on the stage with Stevie Wonder. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, one day I wanna be on the stage with D'Angelo and Lenny Kravitz, you know? And so it's like, once you say these things and you speak it into existence, it, it happens if you keep working forward, you know what I mean? And for me, I, I, I admire all these artists because they're true to their music. And you know, to be associated with people who are true to their music just shows me that I'm on the right path. I'm in the right place because that's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be true to my art, you know? So it feels great. So my style, man, um, I just say my style is me. It's original. I just, I, I think it's like nostalgic. Some people can say that they've seen certain things, but I believe that style I, is, based off of personality and feeling. I've been a lot of different places, Indiana, Oklahoma, I've lived in all these different places. And in Oklahoma, they wear a lot of cowboy boots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas in New York, it's Timberlands, and back in the 90s, it was like baggy jeans and big sweaters and big vests. I'm Panamanian, so when I was growing up, I used to always see my family with gold teeth and jewelry. And when I was growing up, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get some goals. I can't wait to, you know, build my jewelry up. And so growing up, that's what I've done. I've had this watch for, since I was like 14 years old and it has my name in it, it's from Panama, you know, so it's it's personal to me. It's not 
like a trend or something I'm trying to, you know what I mean, ride a wave. It's just like, yo, this is me and it makes up my style. This is what makes me individual, you know what I mean? Man, fly means being you, individual. Whatever your fly is, that's what fly is. You know what I mean? You just have to be yourself and how somebody else gonna determine what's fly to you, you know? So, I am fly. <laughs>